Good evening in Philippines, this is Mike Padawan, we are back to our latest analysis for this weekend of Saturday to Monday, April 22, 24, 2023, and this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000, in partnership with, uh, with Tis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Nago College Foundation, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. Let's begin with our update, here's the uh, latest graph set, which we issued earlier this uh, afternoon tropical storm sanvu is now uh, starting to weaken as it moves uh, across the uh, sea east of guam and it's likely to become a tropical depression overnight and weaken into a low pressure area due to uh, uh, unfavorable conditions like uh, upper level winds and uh, to the west of sanvu we have former 93w once a moderate lpa and is now a weak one or shallow quasi stationary to the south of yap with its trough uh, extending across uh, palau and into the uh, portions of the philippine sea and uh, these two system will these two systems will not expected will not pose a threat to any part of the country but we are going to observe this for further uh, development in the future or regeneration but so far the various uh, reliable computer models doesn't say so so uh okay so let's uh look at the Philippine Islands so far so good no major weather system is expected to affect the uh, Philippine Islands within the next 48 hours and uh, except in the afternoon or evening there are some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in various sections of the archipelago watch out for possible lightning strikes and a heavy downpour within that thunderstorm that could generate some flooding flash floods uh, and the landslides over hazard prone areas of the Philippines. Now uh, here to the south of Japan we have a developing uh, subtropical low uh, and to the east of that is a frontal system moving towards the east so this is uh, not a factor to our country and so far the winds across the Philippine Islands will be calm to variable very light winds and we are feeling the heat of the uh, hot dry season right now uh, the uh, feels like temperature is reaching 40 to 50 degrees centigrade here in Naga City it reached a high of 40 to 44 and that's the uh, graph set let's take a look at the fast dimension so there you go this is the circulation right now of uh, Sanvu deteriorating as time goes by and here's uh, the weak or the shallow LPA 193W it's starting to decay as well while to the south of Palau and so far in the island of Mindanao we are observing some thunderstorm activity particularly here over Saxogen and portions of uh, Davao uh, del Sur Davao uh, the above occidental as well as here over the Sambuanga Peninsula but starting to uh, decay as we speak and also here decaying uh, thunderstorm clouds across uh, western sections of Panay and Negros there are still some uh, localized thunderstorms over the mountains of uh, Benguet or Ifugao but starting to uh, weaken there's a new one developing over uh, Sambales or uh, and so far that's the latest nothing to uh, nothing in si nothing significant so far now that let's take a look at now let's take a look at the pressure and wind uh, forecast from the European model for the next uh, three days until Monday uh, so today it's all clear and uh, on Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening here comes the remnants of uh, tropical storm Sanvu moving closer 
to the southeast of Guam. Monday afternoon, it will continue to decay. And it's just a uh, possible a shallow LP to the southeast of Guam. And uh, if we take a look at the rain forecast from the European model until Monday. So, uh, tomorrow Sunday afternoon, we expect localized thunderstorms in various sections of Luzon. Some portions or smaller areas of uh, Visayas, as well as... Uh, uh, Mindanao where some strong thunderstorms may be uh, bringing some rains by tomorrow uh, by tomorrow afternoon Sunday across uh, Davao uh, region and uh, on uh, Monday afternoon another round of local thunderstorms will be expected over Soxygen, Cotabato area and also here across uh, uh, Central Luzon and Northern Luzon from uh, Benguet, Ilocos uh, Sur, La Union down to Torlac and Pampanga area, portions of Sa portions of Sambales as well as Pangasinan, and also here across uh, Calabar Zone, Bigol region, Mindoro, Samar and later. So those are isolated rain showers and thunderstorms that we are going to expect every afternoon or early evening so there you go that's the uh, quick uh, update for this weekend of april 22 until uh, monday april 24 and we will return next week to give you more updates on the weather from typhoon 2000 and now college foundation from typhoon 2000 and partnership from typhoon 2000 in partnership with from Typhoon 2000, this has been Mike Padua saying good night to all, happy weekend, and thank you so much for watching our channel.